That is sick as. Now we're starting to get the ball rolling. Oh, Luke's on too. It's a beautiful Abilodi. Wow, what a morning. It's a pearl. There's a few people on the pier today, not going to lie. But we're just going down the local now. Local jetty. Sun's out. It's about 20 knots, but where we're going, it's pretty protected from the wind. So we've got our squid jig with us. Luke's with us too. He's using the dino. I've got the red devil on. And we're gonna flick for some squid, see if we can get a few. So I'll see you down there and uh, start flicking. The water's pretty good actually. Pretty clear, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's not too bad at all. Hey, how's it going? That's beauty happening. Very quiet this morning. Sun's starting to come out a little bit more, so I'm just going to change my jig. Why not? I'll just put the gold on. Give that a go. That is sick as. Just flick her in there. Straight in the weed bed. Hooked up right here on the retrieve and uh, it's not a big one but it's a start a nice little squid time to change the jig color now we'll put the white dynamite on very slow today we've only got the one small one but squid's a squid donuts over least so now we're just gonna switch it over and uh, give that a crack a lot of people's uh, moved off the pier because not much is happening but Give that a crack anyway. Yes, we're on. First cast in here, another small one, but a little bit bigger. Oh, don't come off. One candle. One candle. Yes. Oh. Now we're starting to get the ball rolling. Oh, Luke's on too. I'm going to quickly put my jig back in because uh, there could be a school. What jig you got on? So it must be it must be the whites. Oh Luke's got a good one too. Oi Do you want me wait I'll, I'll hook it for you. Yeah, go down the ladder. One sec, one sec. Go bring it up. There we go. Beautiful. Take mine out, quickly drop mine in again. How good is that? Oh, look at all the marks on that thing. Jesus, bro. Yep. <laughs> Buddy, it was the um, first cast too. I, I was like to watch his first cast. <laughs> And um, yeah, onto a squid, but Luke got a bigger one, so that's that's epic.
All right, guys, so it's always important to change your jig color every now and then if it's not working. So just put the dyno light on. And um, I got this smaller one, which is a good eater. Then Luke put his jig in and uh, he got an absolute rip of a squid. So that's an awesome one there. So, so far we've got three squid now. Slowly, slowly we're getting on the board and uh, working our way up to the top. So we'll get our jigs back in and see if we can get into a few more. Look our jig back in. Just do a few little whips. Get that jig working awesome in the water column and then just watch that jig sink straight down and um, just going to keep on doing that, cover some ground and hopefully get into some more squid. Alright guys, we're back from the jetty. Um, pretty tough this morning, so we spent a few hours now, it's nearly midday now. We got three squid, so still enough to um, not call it a donut session and um, it was a little bit of fun. A lot of people on the pier today, then a lot of people started jumping in, boats, all that sort of stuff. School holiday fun, so that's what uh, you get for school holidays, I guess. But um, yeah, so far three squid, that was really good. This afternoon, we're gonna head off offshore on the back beach side and we're going to go diving. We're gonna see if we can get some abalone. We'll bring the gun with us just in case. Welcome back, legends. We're going spearfishing. A lot of you guys have asked for some, so here's another one. And uh, we're just waiting for some other guys to come by. Um, so while we're waiting, We've got our stuff ready, got our new dive float. This is the Dive Pro um, from Mr. Dive. And uh, they're kind enough, they also sent some bridle. So I just redone all my rubber. So now we're all set to go. Got the new weddies, True Dive. So just wait for these guys to get ready and uh, we'll get in the water. All right guys, the boys are here. here there's Nathan, there's James. So we're gonna rig up, get on the water. All right guys, we're on the beach now. Awesome conditions, water's pretty clear, except we've got a little bit of a breeze. But once we're in there, we should get into a few fish, hopefully. So we'll gear up and uh, get in the water. fish but a lot of them were pretty small so we ended up the session with getting a nice bag of black lip abalone packed up now um, that's going to conclude our little dive we didn't see too much out there surprisingly but we did uh, finish off with a bang getting a nice bag of black lip abalone so that's gonna cook up a treat. Nice dive with the boys. Yeah, boy. All right, legends, back from our dive. Surprisingly, we didn't see too much out there. A lot of small leather jackets, 
but we did manage a nice bag of black lip abalone which is going to cook up a treat. So now what we're going to do is going to clean the black lip abalone. I'm going to show you how to do it. So that there is a black lip abalone. I'll just show you why they called that because of that black lip along its flesh there. So that's why they named the black lip and there's also a green lip abalone. So they'll have green but that there is a black lip abalone. So I'll show you how to do this one and uh, then we'll do the rest. Alrighty, look at that. Look how awesome this shell is. Insane colors. So I've just got a uh, oyster knife here. So what you want to do is cut through that back section. Slide your knife in there. Should pop out because it's got a sort of like a backbone. Lift it up. going in like so all you do peel it like that and all its guts are in there I left some on here still because I wanted to get as much meat as I could but that's the guts that is insane burly right there so what we want to do now is take the rest of that gut out i'm no pro i can tell you that when it comes to cleaning these things but doing all i can so just take all that guts out the majority of it so once that's all gone what we want to do is cut down and I just like to peel, take all that lip off because that is super tough and you don't want to eat that. So once you take all that lip off, goes to good use anyway because that is awesome bait and it's going to stay on the hook like no tomorrow. So we use that for bait um, and abalone isn't cheap. So that's expensive bait. <laughs> so just running our knife along there, getting rid of all that lip. Just run your knife through it. All right, once you take most of that lip off, you've got something like that. Now that's the base of the abalone. What I like to do is just get a thin layer of that off, base off, because that is super tough also. And this base, I don't mind if I go a little too deep because I can use that for bait, but that's actually pretty good what, what I've done there. And then you're left with the middle part because it's more of a, uh, a hole sort of shape. So we'll try and get in there get all that out all right once all that's done then you're left with something like that obviously there's a little bit of skin left which i can clean off but you're left with something like that so i'll just clean the rest off all in this bag which is going to be my bait flush burly bag this stuff is awesome flatty bait and reef species obviously because it takes a long time for them to take it off the hook anyway we put that in there clean the board up so now we're left with something like that and what you want to do is some very thin strips you can do cubes all sorts of stuff depends how you're cooking it but just thin thin slices like so that one's probably a bit too thick to be honest but i don't mind it you can go a bit thinner can go a bit thicker everyone has their own preferences but i like going around this thickness so just keep on cutting that. And there we go. That is one abalone right there. Now, this is absolutely beautiful when it comes to eating it. It tastes almost like squid, but better. So all you need to do is just cook that on the pan for about five to 10 seconds with a little bit of butter or, or oil. And that is, so I'm just doing a couple more. So once you get in there, put your thumb under it, just pull, all that comes off. Just cut it there. Most of the guts are in there. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then on top of that, just take the lip off once again 
and there you got some nice abalone meat. All right, we've got our beautiful bag of abalone there. You guys can see that. So that's a good bag there. Um, all those shells, guts, and little bits of uh, flesh is going to be awesome bait, awesome burly. So it's all going to go to good use and catch some more fish, hopefully. So uh, that's how you clean abalone. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment your thoughts down below and press that subscribe button right there on the bottom right. Really appreciate it. And get ready for some more episodes, guys. See you in the next one.